first bit, the Alexander's father, I think I discussed it with Josh this morning. We'll have, it'll be a blackout and then this will be a sort of voiceover at the top. So he'll say, listen, you might learn something. And then in exterior, Alexander's house day, the front door cracks open, Alexander 20 peers out through the gap. Interior, Alexander's house continuous. His father, 45, craggy, leathery, weather-worn, stands further back inside, uh, tearing through stuff, papers, etc. Obviously trying to find something. Slurps from a highball glass of brandy ever so often. Alexander Titus uh, fills his lungs with air, eyes closed. His father growls. Where is he? Come on, it's not rocket science. Alexander, <laughs> that's my best impression of you. <laughs> Alexander keeps to himself, trying not to make eye contact with his father or become involved and engaging him. Stop just standing there, you're always hanging around. Do something! Slams his drink down, which smashes simultaneously. Useful! Light-hearted. It's not rocket science, son! Looks at his drink, um, looks at his drinking hand, bleeding, holds it up. Look what you did! That's your fault, that is. It's all your fault! Father begins to sob. Confusion sets over Alexander's face. I blame you! She left because of you! Hurt in Alexander's eyes, tears welling up. She didn't leave by choice. Father winces, pained also. Where did you hide it? Lob something heavy at Alexander, which misses and slams hard against the front door. Uh, thanks to Alexander ducking. Alexander looks back and notices the dent in the door. Father glares at him, hands tremor. You made me do that. How? Alexander dies and ducks out of his way, out of the house. Another projectile comes his way, slamming the door behind him. In the melee, he drops his wallet, which has fallen open on a photo of a warm and caring face, smiling at the camera, or whoever's taking the pic. That of a woman, Alexander's, Alexander's face, though he's sad. Alexander's father shouting from inside, Don't slam the door! Alexander sucks it all up, bottling it all up. We need to get someone, I was thinking that, I think we need to get a picture of the mum as well, so we need someone get a picture. <laughs> Cameo from one of our mums, maybe a picture of her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just get a photo of my mum. Yeah, just, <laughs> that's all right. Mum, you're going to be a movie star. <laughs> yeah, <you get> cameo. <laughs> <laughs> Exterior, street, day. He wanders down the street. Every time someone passes, he keeps his head down firmly, face downwards. Um, this bit, I think, will cut, so I won't read that, the idiot's bit. Um, paces along, bump into Shopper, mm -hmm. which will do the whole. Um, Alexander apologises ways, thank you, keep that in. Drifts down a different path, nervously um, needs his face. The path becomes very narrow as a suit with a briefcase rushes up the way Alexander came until they come toe to toe, trying to manoeuvre and navigate round the other. Alexander tries to be friendly and patient. The suit returns the favour with a grimace and delivers the most distant sorry known to man, rolling his eyes and tutting to himself, failing politeness. I know, a strange moment of calm. I felt like I'm reading an audiobook yeah. right now. A strange moment of calm and confidence comes over his hand. He thinks to himself, turns back to stop the man, gently pats him on the back with a sweet face and easy, smooth, soothing tone, trying to be matey. It's not your fault, mate. I know that. Remused, the suit scrunches up his face. What's your problem, mate? Yanks his arm away from Alexander, points at him. You're lucky I'm in a rush. Hurries on in his way. Everyone's always in a rush these days. He cranes back and forth, desperately searching, panicking, stressing himself out. Buries his face in his hands, lets out a big sigh, and then we'll cut that line. Um, takes a deep breath, moves on. Gorgeous guitar music. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> Soon approaches. He slows down to appreciate. His soldiers drop and he relaxes. He raises his head to find a young girl of around his age playing. His intense fascination soon draws her attention. He drops his head and carries on walking, twiddling his fingers as he walks by. Once past her, he furiously thumps himself on the head. She watches after him, curious herself. He turns a corner, out of sight, breathes a sigh of relief, made it. The guitar playing stops, his heart begins to beat its way out of his chest. A flop of sweat, vaguely, <laughs> starting to make an appearance. You have to prop, prop set that feeling. <laughs> <laughs> Unless it's a really hot day. You sweat. <laughs> you sweat here. Uh, yeah. So. Alex. Alex. He speeds off, picking up pace. Alexander. 
He decelerates upon hearing this, peers back. Sarah, 19, appears, strolls over. He already knows who it is, turns partly towards her. Hi, I didn't expect to see you. He appears awkward, like he's forgotten how to talk. Sorry, I recognise you from your walk. Confused, he's not quite sure what she's meant by this. Sarah realises she's made a full path. It's Sarah. Uh, of course, yes, I knew that. Uh, Reticent? Reticent? Oh my god, it's getting, getting big words now, isn't it? Yeah, not quite sure. Reluctant, maybe? Reticent. Reticent, she hugs him. I was... I'm sorry to hear about Ellen. He strains a stiff but thank you smile. Thankful smile. I did try to call you, you know, afterwards. He shrugs, that's a brilliant, he shrugs, it happens. Still only half turned in her direction, feet pointed out well. Your shrug has got to say the words, it happens. <laughs> Body language and minefield, he resembles a cardboard cutout. A car crash of awkward and uncomfortable. Straight out of the Ricky Gervais comedy. How's he dance? He shrugs again. Right, right. She glances back, remembers she's left her stuff behind. Oh, um, are you headed anywhere? Modestly, he points in her direction. <laughs> she sniggers playfully, shakes her head. Care to walk me, perhaps? He thinks hard, then smiles, a bit more freely this time. Great. She picks up her guitar and a weathered looking rucksack. His hands visibly tremble. He shakes them out while her back is turned. She drapes the guitar over him. He's a little startled. Uh, disconcerted by this, she puts her arm through his and they hike off. Do you still play? He shakes his head humbly. Humbly? <laughs> <laughs> no, he shakes his head. He shakes his head humbly. <laughs> Why not? You were so good. I just casually lost interest. In the silence, she sings to herself. He plays along, she strums a few chords badly, picks some notes on the guitar, some of which sound like a melody. Oh, you remembered. I thought you would. Although it used to be a song, from what I remember. She grins at him. It's weird, you know. I'm not used to carrying conversations. I seem to remember you talking for England. Almost unconscious, unconsciously, he shakes his head in doubt, but just appears like he's chuckling it off. That wasn't me. That can't be me, can it? God, that chuckle's got to do a lot of lines you've got as to well. do, You've got to do a lot, to convey a lot <laughs> in that. <laughs> Come on. I remember my chuckle. <laughs> Yes, you talked so much once that you passed out. Remember at Chris's brother's party? That fat guy gave get a lot of that. And and with that sound I say the lines. That fat gay guy had to give you mouth to mouth. She laughs. It's soon on the brink of cackling. <laughs> He's clearly <laughs> horrified. <laughs> He's clearly <laughs> horrified by this news. But uncomfortable hush soon falls. Look, I know. Obviously you had your own stuff to deal with and that was fine. Well, why did you cut me out? I wanted to help. I could have helped you. He struggles to make eye contact and his face is full of regret. I mean, it's fine and everything. You get over these things, alright? I'm off this party tonight. It's going to be something else. Actually, I need to check the train times. The one before was delayed, hence why I'm still here. Do you have a phone by any chance? He rummages around in his pocket, pulls out a phone, and hands it over. She operates it. She does a half curtsy in his direction, eyes still on the screen. All the while, he never quite makes eye contact. She lets out a heavy yet muted sigh while looking at the phone screen. He peers along with the way, over at her. You alright? Oh my god. Great longing. <laughs> he is longing. <laughs> he nods, looks out the phone, pretending to be doing his own cow. You? More delays. This tour gets worse and worse. I don't know that many songs. Exterior, train station platform day.